Okay, guys. It's been a while since I did a reading vlog. So in honor of things we hide from the light coming out, I was like, you know what? Let me film some reading vlogs for you guys. So I set a timer on my phone for 25 minutes. So 25 minutes of reading and then I'm going to eat lunch and get ready for school. So thought it'd be cute to do a little reading vlog because why not? Okay, these are the tabs that I've selected for this book. And yeah, let's get to it. So this is where I currently am, literally on chapter three. I'm so happy that Knox, Naomi, and Wele are in this book. And there's definitely going to be scenes of them throughout this entire book, so I cannot wait for that. And I can't wait to just see how this story unfolds because right now it's a little like confusing, but you kind of like are piecing together what's going on. And the story is basically just like building up and I already really like it and I can't wait to just see how this story will unfold but it's time for me now to actually get dressed and get moving because I need to have lunch and I need to go to class so that is my first little snippet of a reading vlog and I'm going to try to film myself reading this entire book because I think that that would just be a fun reading vlog since this was one of my most anticipated reads so you guys will see me again whenever I read again, but bye for now. Hey guys, so I know I said I was going to do a reading vlog for Things We Hide From The Light, but I have been reading this throughout the past like couple of days and I haven't filmed myself. Like it's a mix between like some days I would forget and then some days I was just like not in the mood to just film myself because honestly there were days where I was just not even in the mood to read and I've been so busy. So I've kind of just been like reading whenever I got the chance so I just didn't have the time to set up a whole reading vlog so oh my god this is my coffee look how good it looks so anyway update on things we hide from the light i'm on page 289 chapter 26 and this is how much i've tabbed so far and an update on my thoughts would be so i'm absolutely loving it but like let me just say that it's definitely a slow burn because I haven't gotten any action yet. But there's so much going on so it doesn't matter. Like there's so much action and just like story build up and character build. Like we see all the characters from things we never got over and that makes my heart so happy because I love that book. That's one of my favorite books. And seeing all the characters in this book is literally like... A reunion like I'm so happy that they're in this book so much and we see so much of Lucian in this book and let me just say that my love for him grows literally every page like I'm genuinely obsessed with him and I'm so excited that Lucy's making a book for Lucian and Sloane because they've been my favorite since things we never got over so let's read a little bit
Okay, I wanted to just talk about the way I'm annotating this book. Also, wait, I was reading yesterday and I found a really cute quote about, hold on. Why do I feel like, that's really interesting. I was reading yesterday and I found a really, really cute quote. And normally when I'm reading a book, I don't like underline or highlight as I'm reading. I'll like go back and do it. Anyway, so I found a really cute quote yesterday. I'll read it. So I'll show it to show you guys that I took out a pen to underline it and annotate it because I was like, yes. So it says, being vulnerable doesn't mean you're weak. It means you trust yourself to be strong enough to handle the hurt. It's actually the purest form of strength. And that is one of my favorite quotes in this book. Obviously, I have a lot of favorites, but I took out my pen and I lost my pen. And it was a really good pen, so I better find it. I really thought it would be stuck in this chair, but it's not. Hold on, I really actually kind of want to find it. I'm upset. Oh my god. <laughs> I found it. It was literally, I slept with it in my bed last night, so that's fun. <laughs> but, okay. So I wanted to talk about my annotations and the way that I'm tabbing. So normally I try to get tabs. So I've already gone through two colors of tabs. So I try to color coordinate my tabs with the cover of the book. So I chose different shades of pink and orange. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference in colors over here, but okay, so for those of you who know Lucy Score's writing, you know that she's literally hilarious. So I genuinely laugh out loud like while I'm reading this book. The characters in this book have such unique personalities and they're just so funny and they're people that I would do anything to be friends with. And they just have like the funniest dialogue literally like ever. It's so funny. I think I was using like a pink for like funny moments and honestly it kind of gets a little messy because then when I run out of like that pink shade then I'm like oh god like I need to use the other pink shade for the funny moments but okay you guys are probably like dude like you're obviously not doing it in an organized way but in my brain like I know what color means I know what the colors mean. Okay. So steamy moments that haven't even freaking happened yet, but the tension building up to the steamy moments has its own color. And like, those are the moments that I'm like kicking my feet and swooning. And then I have funny moments. And then I have literally a tab for just Lucian. Literally, like every time Lucian comes, I tab him. So he has a pink color, Lucian, because every time he comes up, I literally am like, internally and externally screaming so i have a tab for him alone because i am in love with him and every time he comes up i can't handle myself so he gets his own little tab and then i have Noxa naomi moments or moments where i'm just like oh my god i love them so much so that's like a light pink color because they're like my family and they make me happy so that was a little update to show you guys like how i'm tabbing but I'm so happy I found my pen and that I literally slept with it and didn't know. Anyway, let's continue reading. I have class today. I have two classes and classes until 4.30. So that's why it takes me pretty long to read sometimes. So I do apologize if you guys are going to be expecting a big reading wrap up. I read three books and hopefully I'm finishing this today. So I'm just going to continue reading now and shut up because it's getting very good. Well, I mean, it's been good this whole time, but, like, the tension is building.
Hey guys, so I have some film of me reading things we hide from the light and I said I was going to make a reading vlog and I really honestly have not filmed majority of the time of me reading it. Like I only remember recording myself like twice and obviously I picked the book up way more times than just two times. So I am sorry. This reading vlog is not going to be the best reading vlog just because I did not get to film myself reading as much as I wanted to. And let me just say that I am sort of in a book slump. It's March 6th and I literally am still reading this book and I don't know if it's like school or I'm just in a book slump. Like I think it's just a mix of both. And to be honest, it's taking me a really long time to read this book and it stinks because I love the universe of Knockmount so much. Things We Never Got Over is genuinely one of my favorite books ever. And this <laughs> this is how I feel today. Like I am slumped, but I love the characters and the universe so much. So I'm just sad that I'm dragging this book along, but I've annotated majority of it. This is where it looks like I am, but that's because I've switched to reading on the Kindle now because I read faster on the Kindle and I really want to finish this book. So this is what we're going to try to do today. It is, it is currently 4.38. Hello, can it load? There we go. 4.38. I just got back from class. I filmed a video earlier today and yeah, so I'm filming again, but I'm doing a reading vlog. So I'm just going to sit here and read and you guys are just going to watch. But I need to grab my glasses. I'm so tired and I have to get myself to the gym at some point today. So I'm most likely going to just read for 20 or so minutes and then get ready and go to the gym. And that is my plan for today. But I figured I wanted to read a little bit so why not film that so you guys can see and I already promised a reading vlog. Hold on, mom is calling. Okay, a little intermission because <laughs> my mom called me. She got a flat tire, of course, because what is life if it's not chaotic? But anyway, I'm so tired. I don't know why. Oh, let's read this book. <laughs> being in a slump is a freaking worst thing. I hate being in a slump. And I'm so embarrassed because I literally read two books last February. Last February. I read two books last month and it's march 6th and i need to start reading more so let's go no more bs <laughs> the freaking chapter name is pantsless and ass up like okay period i'm gonna read now love you guys This part is really sweet and sad, and that quote was really cute.
this is why I love Lucy's score. She genuinely makes me laugh out loud. <laughs> oh my god. Her writing is so funny. Oh my god, I literally have the chills. Wow. Lucy, score, you are incredible. Oh my god, I still have the chills. They're going all down my legs right now. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Oh my, what the heck, this got insane, like literally insane, hold on, let's see what percentage I'm at, I'm at 90% right now, and wow, okay. Ew. I knew it. Ew. This is literally getting insane. I'm 92% in and I'm terrified, but I know that this is going to be a happy ending. So, okay, like I will be okay, but I need to go take this to the gym and I'm going to finish there because I need to multitask and that's the only way I could get my gym time in is if I read while I'm at the gym. So productive and efficient. I'm going to read the rest of my phone while I do my treadmill walk and that is it. So I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to finish the book probably there and yeah. So I am going to finish it today and you guys will see my thoughts and reactions soon. So I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey guys. So I told you guys that I was going to update you on my final thoughts for things we hide from the light, but I am getting ready. So I might as well multitask and finish getting ready while also sharing my thoughts and my final rating for things we had from the light. So I will say that I didn't think it was going to be a five star until I got to the end of the book and the epilogue. So the 
ending of the book, like the last maybe 50 or 70 pages, I honestly couldn't tell because I was reading it on my phone while I was at the gym. So the last couple of pages plus the epilogue were the sole reasoning for my five star rating. Obviously all of the characters and the story play a role in why I rated it five stars, but I will say I was in a slump, so at first I was kind of really struggling to finish it. Hold on. I was really struggling to finish it and I was scared that I wasn't going to like it because I was really in a slump, but I winded up absolutely loving it and crying at the gym. So that was a first, definitely. I've never cried at the gym before, but um, I cried yesterday at the gym. So, there's a first for everything, right? And I will maybe show you guys the picture of me crying at the gym because I sent it to my best friend Mads and I was like, oh my god, like, please help. People are going to report me. And yeah. So, <laughs> let's talk about why I'm rating it five stars. So, for those of you that watch my videos and also those of you that follow me on bookstagram you know that things we never got over is one of my absolute favorite romance books ever so i've been waiting for things we hide from the light for the longest time so when it finally came out like i read it without waiting like as soon as it came out i read it immediately and i didn't wait so i already have an attachment with all the characters from things we never got over so i was so excited blah 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 you see all of the characters again. So all of the characters and things we never got over are seen and things we hide from the light. And they're basically in the entire book, which I was so excited about because sometimes when there's interconnected standalones and they're like a series, sometimes you don't get to see the characters as much. And in this book, Things We Hide From The Light, you see them so much and that made me so happy. So that's also a reason why it was five stars. But I will say that if I didn't read Things We Never Got Over first and started with Things We Hide From The Light, I probably wouldn't have rated it a five stars. Since I love Things We Never Got Over and just love the character so much, this is the reason why I rated it a five star read. And yeah, so honestly, the ending was absolutely perfect. This book honestly was not what I was expecting because I thought it was going to be more romance, but it had a lot of more like mystery crime and like that was my dog i don't know if you guys can hear him but he's being a big baby right now and won't leave my side so anyway as i was saying i really thought it was going to be more of a romance book but it had more mystery crime and action i guess so that was interesting and not what i expected but nonetheless, it was definitely a five star read for me and I hope you guys read it and I hope you guys enjoy it, but that is it. That's all I have to say. I enjoyed it and I was in a slump while I read it, so I didn't think I was going to enjoy it as much, but the ending definitely changed my mind. The ending was just absolutely perfect. Guys, I don't know what to do with my hair today because I didn't have time to blow dry it after my shower, so it's like gross. I think I'm just going to put it in a hair clip and call it a day. I hope you guys enjoyed my reading vlog. Hopefully the film of me actually reading the book comes out to be a good video. Because as I said, I really didn't get to film myself as much as I wanted to because I was in a slump and I was really busy with school and really busy with my personal life. So whenever I got the chance to read, I didn't get the chance to film. But I filmed when I could and I did get to film reactions of me reading the last of it which was good reaction so i'm excited for you guys to see that but that is all i have for today's video so i hope you like this reading vlog and let me know if you guys read the book in the comments and we can chat about it but i love you guys so much so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time